Welcome to Dependable Flame, where we explore vintage petrol lighters, ashtrays, tobacchiana, and other useful mechanisms. Make yourself at home. Today we are going to endeavor to demonstrate how to answer a question that I get often in the email and also comments below these videos. Many times when you get ready to work on an old lighter, you get your screwdriver in the slot, and when you go to turn it, it turns on the back side and you can't, your finger or fingernail isn't strong enough to hold it. In that case, then you are likely to need either an extra pair of hands or employ the use of a vise. Now, there are instances where you might put a lighter in a vise. I would caution you if you do not to just stick it right here in between these metal jaws, but use some kind of uh, soft plastic or rubber or something that will even that two pair of rubber gloves I would probably double that up again if I were going to do that that would be an option if you wanted to handle it that way you wouldn't even really need to tighten it down that tight you still might mar up the side of your lighter though just from grazing it along the sharp edges of those jaws. So what I would suggest and what I have done in the past is take one of the screwdrivers. Now these screwdrivers have, they're not exactly round so they have sort of flat sides here. So they really work well for this. And I just close one of my screwdrivers in the jaws of the vise. Now when I do that you try to get it as straight as possible and it looks like it's pretty straight that way I don't have to guess when I'm trying to line it up. I will go ahead and get this lined up on the back side to where it's straight as I at least as I can see it, it looks like it's straight. That way we're not really guessing how it's going to fit down here. We got a good idea of the rotation of the head of the screw and how we need to have it lined up. So we'll go ahead and get that in place and that looks like it's holding just fine right there. At that point then you can get your other screwdriver in the head of that screw. Try not to let it slip off like I did right there. Hard to tell. I, I can't see it with just my eye looking without the camera. Okay, now feels as though <laughs> screwdriver fell out. So that jaw slipped. We'll go ahead and get that pulled back up here. And I'll get it a little bit tighter this time. So now the back side still fairly straight. Let's hope I can get this down on here. Now get the other screwdriver 
you can see it there my hands gonna block it when I go to turn it and Now that we got it started that way, then we can hold that fulcrum screw on the front side with our finger. And I hope I didn't just lose that screw. So there's another caution. A lot of times they'll stick on the screwdriver and when I did it, threw it across the table here. It's all right. So that shows you at least one way, the way that I would recommend if you need to get those screws out and it's turning, you only have two hands, you need something to hold the lighter you also need something to uh, hold the screwdriver that's on this side of the lighter and the screwdriver that's on this side of the lighter. I believe your best option is to put the screwdriver in a vise, not the lighter. Just my two cents. Simple enough. And then you can get on about the business of fixing the rest of the lighter and uh, digging out the old flint and all that. Until next time.